From spiders raining down on you to the strangest lightning show in the entire world, here are places around the world with the craziest weather. Thanks, brown sugar dumpling. We like that transformations one too. Here's another video you might like since you seem to enjoy some pretty amazing things. We hope you enjoy. Number 14, ballooning spiders. The spiders themselves aren't the crazy weather part, but what they do to avoid the floodwaters is something you simply have to see to believe. As you can see from this image, there are thousands of spiders that have climbed trees to stay out of the waters below. This uber strange occurrence happens in northwest Tasmania every year during the flood season. The term ballooning comes from the action the spider does in attempts to reach higher ground. They throw their webs up into the air in hopes that the wind will pull them upwards to a higher and hopefully drier area. Every year, just as the spiders look to reach new heights, they must rain down at some point after the floodwaters have receded. Yes, it sounds like something straight from an arachnophobe nightmare, but after the floods, ballooning spiders will rain from the sky and blanket the ground below us. Not really our idea of a relaxing vacation. So that'll be a no from us. Number 13, Japan's Typhoons. Although there are about 30 typhoons that form over the Northwest Pacific Ocean each year, only about three actually touch down on any part of Japan. Instead of naming the typhoon like we would name a hurricane in America, the Japanese give their typhoons numbers. The eighth typhoon of the year would essentially be called Typhoon Number 8. Due to its location, Japan seems to be at risk for typhoons more than anywhere else. The worst storm happened in 1959, and it claimed the lives of more than 5,000 people. This picture shows a colossal wave striking the Japanese coastline. What a scary sight to witness. In this picture, you see a Japanese town that was flooded after a typhoon struck. And this one shows even more houses being swept away. Number 12, Thunderstorm Asthma. Although this sounds like another made up thing, it's apparently real and it happens in Australia. Honestly, Australia, we feel sorry for you. Each time we believe that there's nothing more that could convince us to never step foot anywhere near this continent, it shows us something new that we would rather not deal with. Congrats, Australia. You still seem to be the most dangerous place in the world. Not only does this strange weather occur here, but the last one they had was in January of 2017. This year, which wasn't even that long ago. Thunderstorm asthma is an event that is triggered by the sudden drop in temperature combined with severe thunderstorms and winds. Pollen gets swept up in the mess and is shattered so that it's small enough to get into people's lungs, causing severe asthmatic reactions. Over the space of just five hours, 8,500 patients sought help in local hospitals, and there were another 1,900 people using emergency phone lines to try to get help. Nine people died in Melbourne in January because of this weird weather. Number 11, the landslides of Lima. Having over 10 million inhabitants in just Peru's capital city of Lima alone is asking for trouble. If you don't prepare the citizens for the likely event of immense rainfall quickly followed by massive landslides, the people don't stand a chance. Even though the government and its people are well aware of the disastrous land they live on, they still continue to build on it today. Also regarded as one of the world's great self-built cities, the majority of these citizens actually purchase the concrete and build their own homes themselves. While this sounds all fine and dandy, the people that are selling the land to build on are misleading the citizens in regards to the land's specific safety concerns or downfalls, and are encouraging people to build there anyways. By the time the floods come, there are dozens of new slums built up around the city, and they all get washed away, leaving so many without homes. One of the most recent stories regarding the flooding and landslide you see pictured here was of a story of a mother named Evangelina Chamorro, who was outside feeding her pigs when she was swept up and carried in a landslide for two miles. She survived the experience, and some onlooker managed to capture part of the miracle on tape. Number 10, the methane bubbles in Siberia. Due to the warming climate around the world, giant methane bubbles are popping up all over the Yamal Peninsula. This picture, taken by the Siberian Times, shows an exploded methane bubble on the Siberian coast. There are 7,000 more methane bubbles ready to burst and release methane gas, fire, and massive chunks of permafrost. There was a video of a man stepping on a grass-covered bubble and viewers can see the surreal ripple effect on the spot of land he was standing on. Scientists say that Siberia will have this increasingly dangerous situation on their hands until they all pop. Since each one explodes with a fiery explosion, we don't know what they're going to do to combat this issue. Number 9. Snow Rolls The crazy part about this strange weather is that the weird snowballs you see pictured here invaded the United States and have been in several northwestern states. This weather event occurs when snow gets pushed hard enough from the wind, capturing debris and such as one does when rolling a snowball to turn into a snowman. This is one weather phenomenon that makes total sense. It's just mother nature's way of rolling her own snowballs. Or snow rolls, if you will. Just look at how perfectly symmetrical these snow rolls seem to be. Weather can do some pretty amazing things. Number 8. Volcanic Lightning 
This scary image here looks like something that has spent its fair share of time in a Photoshop artist's hands. But it hasn't. This photo is of a real weather phenomenon that was captured when Sakurajima erupted in Japan. The electrical charges that were caused by the volcano erupting meet up with the eruption, and together, when opposite electrical charges meet up, the lightning bolts are produced. Apparently, the best way to deal with the disaster of a volcano erupting is just to stay very, very far away, since now they could have lightning amongst the fallout of ash. Number 7. China's Deadly Floods China has seemed to be the birthplace of extreme flooding since the deadliest one occurred in 1931. The annual rainfall, coupled with the nearby and connecting rivers and estuaries, makes China a supreme hotspot for massive floods. The flood of 1931 claimed 145,000 Chinese lives. A flood caused by the overflow of the Yellow River killed 900,000 people, and 150,000 people were killed in China because of the 1935 Yangtze River flood. That wasn't the first time the Yangtze River had become flooded either. It flooded back in 1911 and drowned over 100,000 people. When the Bangkiao Dam failed in 1975, it led to half of China flooding, and it took the lives of 160,000 people. In this image, you can see a bridge that is almost completely underwater. This image shows two women walking through the flooded street to get to higher land. And this picture shows just how much destruction can be brought about by too much rainfall and no place for the water to go. Here you can see rows of houses being swallowed up by the surrounding waters. Number 6. Arctic Cyclones Often occurring in the northern reaches of Canada, Scandinavia, Russia, and the US state of Alaska, these cyclones can form over land or over water, making them twice as dangerous. According to a study conducted between 2000 and 2010, there were about 1900 of these Arctic cyclones running amok. Cyclones happen when there is low atmospheric pressure that has wind circulating around them. Since these weather monstrosities happen more frequently at higher altitudes, more occur in the aforementioned places. Cases of extreme Arctic cyclones are cause for concern among researchers and climate scientists alike because they melt sea ice. They even say that the huge storm that hit the Arctic in 2012 was the cause of the record sea ice retreat that same year. Number 5. Aurora Borealis and Aurora Australis This weather phenomenon is made up of charged particles that have reached the Earth's upper atmosphere and have become excited. What happens is that the gaseous particles of the atmosphere collide with the charged particles from the sun as they enter into the Earth's atmosphere. The astonishing event pictured here happens at both the North and South Poles and is more often seen during the equinoxes of the year. Although these pictures show you the teal green version, the weather event can appear in many colors, with the most frequent being pink and green, like you see in this picture. Number 4. Rainbow Rain This colored rain falls over the southern parts of India, and while it's pretty, it can be rather gross. The colored rain that falls in India is said to have been red, yellow, green, brown, and even black in color. The reason for the strange colorings is due to the particles of materials that is absorbed in the clouds. Scientists say that sometimes the coloring comes from algae spores, as well as other places like black coal, pollens, dust, and other airborne spores. If we didn't know about colored rain, we would have probably run inside screaming if we ever saw it, thinking it was some kind of acid rain or something horrific like that. It turns out it's just dirty rain colored by different particles. Number 3. The Weather Atop Mount Washington the building you see chained down in this picture isn't some kind of prison. It's the weather station on top of Mount Washington, a place that is supposed to have the worst weather in the entire world. The smallish summit is just over 6,000 feet tall and is located in New Hampshire. This lovely mountain enjoys extreme cold, near constant year-round snowfall, thick fog, heavy icing, and extreme winds. Although these all seem like things one would be able to adapt to, the weather has been likened to what people experience at the South Pole or at the top of Mount Everest. The lowest ever recorded temperature was a chilling negative 50 degrees with winds that have reached an incredible 231 miles per hour, a speed that beats even the most ferocious hurricanes. Number 2. Fish Storms This seemingly Dr. Seuss story of actual animals taking the place of raindrops during a summer storm actually appears to be true. Since sometime in the 1800s between May and June, there is a large storm that appears over the small Honduran town of Yoro, and it proceeds to rain small silverfish. Of course, once we first read this insane tale, we weren't inclined to believe it until after we read all of the testimonies, some of which were made by a team of researchers from National Geographic, who witnessed this event themselves. Scientists believe that this crazy weather comes from when a water spout sucks up an entire pond or something like that, and shoots the animals high into the air where they come down like rain sometimes reaching far away from where they came from if the winds are strong enough. Here's a picture of a worker cleaning the roads after a rainfall of fish. It would most certainly be a sight to see. Number 1. The Everlasting Lightning Storm 
This river in Puerto Concha, Venezuela, received so many lightning strikes per square meter that it was named as having the most out of every other place in the world by the Guinness Book of World Records. The weather phenomenon pictured here is a lightning storm located at the mouth of Catatumbo River, at the point where it meets Lake Maracaibo. For anywhere between 200 and 300 days each year, the storm that rages here produces an average of 28 lightning strikes every minute for up to 10 hours at a time. The strikes are so incredibly bright that they can be seen from up to 250 miles away. Scientists believe that the occurrence of lightning strikes happens so frequently here due to the deposits of methane gas that lies buried underneath. They theorize that the gas seeps into the air, increasing conductivity. And that's wild. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you next time. Bye! Better.